I'm on my way grocery shopping, but I'm actually gonna go to Chinatown and get some actual Asian seasonings and spices, which will be nice. I'm gonna go to a Chinese market and the sun's setting soon, so I gotta be quick. I'm gonna try to get some meat. I wasn't really liking the meat at the grocery store, so I'm gonna see what I want. I might get some choy, choy some veggies. I love the leafy greens. Maybe I'll get a whole chicken. I don't know. I might have to call my mom and ask for help, honestly. <laughs> This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. This is the I feel like my grandma buys this one. Oh no, it's this one that she buys. I literally asked where to find it and he was like, it's in front of your face, goddamn. I look so dumb. The groceries have been secured. I feel like my Mandarin has deteriorated so much because I don't practice enough, which is why I try to come to Chinatown or like when I eat at Chinese restaurants, I don't really wanna speak Chinese, even though they'll automatically speak English to me, like I'll try my best. But I always mix up the Mandarin and Cantonese pronunciations. So I'm pretty sure I said Lap Chan wrong. My mom will always help correct me, but it's really hard to find people my age who are willing to practice. I just came home and showered. I have to actually meet my friends later at a restaurant, but as my hair dries, I'm just gonna do the meal prep now, and my roommates are gonna help me film this. Hey, boys! This is my filmographer, Freddie Benson. Let's go. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Kind of smooth with it. And then my other roommate is building a boxing ring. Anyway, today I'm doing a meal prep video. So I went to three stores. I went to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and I went to the Chinese market. And I'm going to make my meals of the week so that I can just heat them up or just take them out of the fridge and feel good to go. All time. Container squash. What is that for? Meal prepping. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just make some chilled tofu. This is like my favorite snack ever. You can either have silken tofu with ginger, green onion, and soy sauce, or you can have it with chili oil, green onion, and soy sauce, sesame oil, and a little bit of sugar. I actually got this chili oil from Fly By Jing. I think it's like a new business. Super duper easy. Here you go. Probably like more than enough. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. Like a fat teaspoon, I would say. And then you want to put some brown sugar. I only have agave here, so I'm just going to put like the teensiest bit of agave. Okay. And then we're going to just top it off with some soy sauce. But yeah, this is so good. I actually think I'm gonna take a spoon out of it. Snack break. The tofu. Look at it. Oh my Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. It's so hard to meal prep without eating your own food though. There we go. And then I would say I would just eat the rest. The nice thing is that this is also vegan friendly. So if you want to give it to your vegan friends or roommates, parents, it's such an easy little snack. Now we're gonna do a two-in-one like vegetable stir-fry situation. Not a stir-fry, but we're gonna cook some vegetables because I think there's nobody in this world who loves greens more than I do. So I'm gonna turn on two stoves right now. We're gonna cut up some zucchini. So the point of this is that I'm not a pro. Like, look at this fucking slice. It's like so bad. <laughs> we're just gonna go with the flow. No measurements, nothing. It's just based on taste. That's why it's so delicious because it tastes really homemade and you know what you're putting in your body. Right, Jed? Yes. That's right. Okay, so basically I'm gonna make some fried rice and I got some lap cheng from the store. It's like Chinese sausage. What we're gonna do is the multitasking. I always feel I need to wash your hands. That was the first time you washed your hands? No, of course oh. not. I always like come back from the gym and like run to the bathroom to shower while I would bake something in the oven because I felt like it was always productive. Yeah, I'm really weird about that, but basically I'm going to bake this eggplant and we're gonna make like the easiest eggplant parmesan you've ever had in your life. I'm actually gonna cut this in half because this is like a fat ass eggplant. Oh god, I'm really intimidated. No, 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 don't get me cutting this. Honestly, I'm so embarrassed. No, no, no. I doesn't be like, what the fuck? It's like an eggplant parm sandwich. Easy, easy shit. 
God damn it, I didn't even need the foil. I'll figure out something to do with it so I don't feel wasteful. This is all you'd need to do. You just have to oil it and season it very well so it's delicious. Some Evu. Evu stands for extra virgin olive oil. My dad taught it to me. I didn't know what Evu was for the longest time then he actually told me what it was. Not cute of me. Honestly, don't do this. Whatever, anyway. Ew. Vegetables. Colt doesn't like his green, but he did like the bean soup I made him. Let's oh, go. What's up? That was that was, that was fire. Was fire right? Season generously, but not too much, because some of you guys are definitely heavy-handed. I can tell. Definitely don't know how to season shit. That's messed up. <laughs> some people literally be like, "Oh, it said season generously. Now it's too salty." Like Luke. <laughs> We're going to put the eggplant inside. You have great memory. You don't have to set a timer, but if you don't, set a timer for like 15 to 20 minutes and then check on it. Oh, it doesn't even say it's preheated. It's fine. What I'm going to do is use like a quarter of this onion and then I'm just gonna saute vegetables later because they're so delicious. Hey, Jed. Aren't you curious what I'm making? Nope. Well, I'm just gonna like slice this onion. I flip it around so there's the rainbow side. I like looking at the rainbow side. It makes me happy. How do you make it not make yourself cry? You just don't, bro. Just don't be a bitch. Keep that in mind, kids. <laughs> and then you can go from here, just line it up, and then it's automatically diced. Automatic. Automatically. It's like you didn't even have to cut it. What's the update? The update is that I am cutting the Chinese sausage. <laughs> this looks so goddamn healthy. It's like horrendous. The best fried rice is made with one day old rice. So that's like why people make a mistake because their rice is too moist when they cook. But I don't have a day old rice. I'm just gonna use cauliflower rice. Oh, you know what I forgot to add eggs. We're gonna add eggs though. And then the rest of them, you can just cook during the week. I've been like doing medium high, but you don't wanna do too high. Start like medium. And we're gonna add seasoning. What is that? It's salt. And you can add pepper too, but we'll just add a bit more soy sauce. And then it'll like sweeten it because there's a bit of sugar. Okay, now we gotta mix real fast. Put half of the rice off the fire so that the bottom of it wouldn't be like really burnt. It's giving omelet vibes. When it's done liquefying, I'm just gonna add the rice back in. And it'll kind of like coat the rice. You wanna get it off the pan. What is that? For a chill. I just sussed out by the smell. I'm like, am I burning something? As soon as you start burning something, like, the easiest thing to do is just take it off away from the flame. People really be like, ah, it's on fire! And they try to fix it while it's still on the flame. It makes no sense. Just move it off and then calm down. Take a breather. You want to keep the white and the green part, the green onion, because there's different flavor dynamics to it. Like, the bottom of the green onion is more pungent while the top is sweeter. That's why, like, some restaurants only serve the green part of the green onion, while some restaurants have both, you know? So this part is going to taste like like garlicky or like acidic while the top is sweeter like a snack you are what you eat i'm technically a snack if you didn't get that <laughs> but it still doesn't look like super flavorful <laughs> file in y'all fried rice thank Put you mother. cauliflower fried rice i'll try just cilantro though cold doesn't eat green things this isn't green this is yellow <laughs> Taste test time. Taste test time. Thank you, Isa. Thank you, Isa. Thank you, Isa. You're Here's my more. favorite roommate. Yes. This is the eggplant that I took out of the oven. We're just letting it cool because it's a bit hot. So I have some zucchini and then I have bok choy for that. Basically, for the zucchini, we're gonna use just a little bit of oil. Oh, kind of added, kind of added a lot. Using a bit of olive oil and this is a tiny, tiny pan. We're gonna first saute the onions and then the zucchini and then the garlic. Okay, so this one's gonna do more like a steam. This is a bok choy. I just uh, cracked open the garlic and then minced the ginger, so I'm gonna put it inside. So basically what I did is I like covered it and I let the water evaporate. Then I added some soy sauce and it kind of looks like this so I can get some color, but I'm just making it up as I go. <laughs> but I'm gonna put it into the containers to be really easy.
making you guys on a Sunday or when you're cozy at home because you can make a huge batch and eat it for the week or you can freeze it in a container. This is my bolognese. Um, I had cherry tomatoes because it reminds me of when my mom used to make it for me in high school. She always added cherry tomatoes so I love eating tomatoes in whole bites. And yeah, I added the Italian sausage and ground beef. You can do ground turkey. I've made it with impossible sausage. The way here it's not good for you but just vegan alternatives so I like saute the vegetables and it's tomato juice. As you let this simmer and set, you can make chicken oyakudon, which is kind of like, I think it's called donburi, which is um, chicken and egg, it's like the mother and the child. You can repurpose chicken thighs in so many ways and it's delicious. So we're gonna make that and it's the easiest thing ever. So I got boneless and skinless thighs. The thighs are just more flavorful. Um, I like working with these because I used to have a frozen pack in the freezer at college and I would use like a couple thighs a week until it run out and it was like so easy. But you're just gonna use a couple and I only have a couple eggs so we're gonna cut those up this one you can saute it add like paprika cayenne and then you can have tacos or you can just saute it with like garlic and onions and like you can throw it over some salad you can do it in so many ways to like ah, turmeric or you know you can marinate in yogurt <laughs> anyway so i have my onions all sliced up in this case i like eating them in thicker pieces versus diced up so i didn't cut it in the rainbow method you can do it as desired and then i just like peeled them so that they were like fat shapes but anyway i'm gonna like start the pan and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like lightly boil the pan we're gonna start with the onions we want the chicken to taste like the onions in the broth it's gonna cook very nicely also chicken cooks very very quickly so you don't want to go too high and as that cooks i'm going to slice up chicken and like imagine you're having a chicken nugget and then after you're having that chicken nugget you take a bite so, all right, it could be chicken nugget sizes. So this is why I cook with like raw meat last. Cut all my veggies first. Like you cannot mix cutting boards, it's not good. You don't need to marinate it. It's just already good to go because it's a simmer in the broth. And this is when we can repurpose our cilantro green onion that we bought. So we have a chicken nugget size pieces. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add dashi. So this is like a concoction of dashi and soy sauce, I believe. Seasoned soy sauce with dash dashi, which has like seafood stuff. And you wanna cook your onions in this. She's cooking. I'm gonna add my chicken. Collagen, I'll add bone broth, and then it'll make it more liquefied. I usually like to have more onions, but some people don't. You're gonna add the egg last. My friend Quinn in college showed me this trick and she basically took like scissors and cut the green onions. This is what I do when I'm so lazy. So this is the cilantro and green onion I already packed away from when I cooked maybe my tofu, but my dad doesn't know I do this. But honestly, it's a, such a life hack. So easy and that's enough cilantro. Now you have two meals done side by side. Forgot I'm supposed to always taste test my food. Okay, chicken. Okay, I just mixed it up. And then I have my bolognese. This is pork and beef, actually. Oh, three of the meats. But well, you could use turkey, too. Okay. And I'm making pasta. Or you also just microwave instant rice. Okay, ready? Oh my god, look at this bite. Bro. Literally, I am so good. Damn. Mmm. 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 I was up and i added the dashi first but i should have added it last because it simmered for too long so it's a little bit salty i have to be honest and the onions bro damn okay well next time cherry tomato i love cherry tomatoes okay mm, needs more salt the rice will get soggy this is what i used to do i used to put the rice on the side and scoop it in i just made bok choy this time but look at this meal prep serve i mean you could make this at work and all your friends are gonna try to take your food i don't know if that's the goal but i think it's a flex Shit, you can be like damn i made this myself and it's chicken and there's egg and it's easy it took me like 10 minutes look at this Ta-da! all you have to do is like microwave a bag of rice so easy i salt this water and add the pasta healthy pasta This concludes my meal prep video. So easy. And now I guess I'm eating bolognese three days in a row and chicken two days in a row. But this is just the options that you can explore. I hope you guys enjoyed.